Welcome to the 2020 APTA National Championships presented by the local sponsor BTIG and the APTA national sponsors Viking and Uline. We are live from the Country Club of Darien in Connecticut on the APTA network presented by ENET Live. I'm Patty Hogan. That's the easiest name I'm going to have to pronounce to t <laughs> today. I'm alongside Maddie G. And we have a very special guest, two-time national champion, Vicky Stoklasova. And we are going to let Matt introduce you to the players out on the court. And then we will some have some expert commentary from Vicky. Thanks, Patty. Uh, so we have a great matchup here between the number six team of Macy Elliott from Darien, Connecticut, and Marcelo Rodunzo from Monroe, Connecticut. Uh, they are, you know, a hometown favorite, taking on a team out of the uh, uh, a newer team this year of uh, Lucy Nutting from the D.C. area and Jacqueline Williamson out of Unionville, uh, out of the Philly area. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, um, you know, it's going to be a great matchup. It's a lot of young firepower, a lot of, uh, if you want to call it the new age paddle of bringing it. And, um, you know, they both had some, you know, you know, great matches to get here so far. And, uh, so quickly, Matt, how did each team get here into the draw? And we're just finishing up our warm-up serves. And we'll listen to our umpire doing the intro in one second. And I believe he's going to do the intro now. So we'll let him formally introduce the players. Check, one, two, one, two. Okay. Ladies, if you don't mind, I'll do introductions. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2020 APTA National Championship. This afternoon we have a round of 16 ladies match. On my right, playing out of local, Darien, Connecticut, Macy Elliott. And her playing partner, playing out of Monroe, Connecticut, Marcella Rodenzo. On my left, playing out of Washington, D.C., we have Lucy Nutting and her playing partner, playing out of Unionville, Pennsylvania, Jacqueline Williamson. Whenever you guys are ready to spin, that'd be great. So we are back and Sorry? we're going to try to beat the rain here, you guys. Um, Rodenzo. Matt and Vicky. That's what I said, and no? Rodenzo. Vicky, two-time national champion. What does it See? take to win Sorry? nationals? Besides being damn good. <laughs> um, and thank you. I guess playing throughout the year, gaining confidence, experience. Uh, in my personal experience, teaching helps as well. It makes you think on the court a little bit more differently. Different you, you think about different strategies, and then endurance and patience. The patience word. You were. Uh, it was interesting when you and your, your and Anna came up, and everybody's watching you. I remember the first time you guys came to Chicago when I lived there, and a bunch of people couldn't wait to see you guys. They heard about this team who were beating everybody. And they're watching you play, and they're, they're like, where's all the firepower? They just, they're so oh, yes, precise. Macy, and they were that, that I'm was holding the biggest word I remember. Right using, side the patience. Up or upside down. Your team will make the call. I think everybody has to use their own skill. You know, some the players have the firepower, down. some players Lucy, have the, the spins, and your team. some players have the patience the and Williamson preciseness. And that's, you know, you got to take, you use your best skill that you have and cover the weaknesses <laughs> and you used those skills yesterday playing peacup 
I you tried. played President's Cup I for the tried. first time, yes, Vicky? Yes, I had a great time, and I'm glad I was able to to play for our region. And uh, it was it was a great day. Yeah, you I could put them right the there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I Thanks. hope I can do it again. Well, that was a treat for people who don't get to see you play this weekend in the Nationals. The ladies were changing on seven. You don't have a regular partner this year, and you're fighting off we some injuries. Balls, yep. So hopefully next year you'll be a contender here again. Yes, but it was a treat you. to have you play Peacup up for the women. Yes, thank you. That was, that was my pleasure for sure. Well, if you're, you're playing, I just mean Javi has to watch the kids yesterday? Uh, <laughs> he did. He, I played the first three matches. And he was watching one child, and then he passed her along, and then he went to work. And today he's playing. <coughs> awesome. Okay, so quickly, how did uh, Elliot and Redesno get here, Matt? Well, they've had uh, the, a couple local teams in the first two. They uh, got through, and then they played a young team out of Chicago in Barnes and Cavernau. Be they I didn't have a uh, had a great match, and they're, uh, you know, kind of cruising they have a lot of you know not only they have a lot of firepower as you said as vicky said that they are playing with a lot of confidence uh and, and real quickly matt and nutting and williamson took uh had again had a local team had another team after the, a local team and then they took out the owen and white team in a great match of four and four um you know they're feeling their way in you know they didn't play the first half together uh they didn't really play and then c came on strong in the second half and are you know looking to, to, to keep that that pressure uh williamson for years uh she played with coaches and uh, they had some great results sure karen coaches and yeah they were a great so. team top 16 in the country mm-hmm and we're really going to get underway soon for this round of 16 match. I think they're waiting for the rain to start before they start play. <laughs> Is that a good strategy, Vicky? <laughs> Just keep moving. Talking and moving. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to see Williamson and Nutting because uh, Jade and I played them last year in the back draw uh, at the Nationals. And Lucy uh, mm -hmm. was newer to the game, and I just remember her serve. It was a big serve kick serve and it was very athletic yeah that's you know it's something that is needed to say that is uh, when they when you can take off the pressure not having to hit a first volley every time it makes a big difference and is uh if you can control a harder serve it does make the game a lot more fun when you're at the net so macy elliott in the uh green top Teal. What color is that, Vicky? Is there what color is that top? Well, Rodesno okay. and Elliot to serve. An assistant pro here took our Good eleven luck, on right out of the country mm -hmm. club of Darien. So she's got the home home crowd uh, support for sure. And actually, and this is Marcella Rodenzo starting to serve. Matt, can you please identify each player by color of their outfit? Confirm. Fifteen. Low. So uh, Rodenzo is in the. Uh, but that the white visor, then we have the uh, the blue and white hat at the net, as you said, with uh, Macy Elliott with the uh, teal. I was told uh, Redunzo was the big forehand there. Um, Thirty love. Williamson is the one who decided to go hatless. You know today, so I she's in the deuce it. court, she's far in side. The deuce court, yes. And then uh, Nutting is the one in the uh, the white hat in the ad court. Well, this is such an important match that there's four commentators in the booth now for this. We're joined by Lisa Rudloff. Oh, and Lisa just luck. finished up 30, another match. 15. And I think we're going to do a switcheroo, Matt, and switch you to the yeah, other I'm booth on a changeover. I'll be taking a little break, getting ready for the, uh, the guys' match in a little bit. Uh, hoping that this weather <laughs> 40, stays away. 40, 15. But... match last night match that we saw with Ruoff Manley they just were a disciplined team phenomenal court coverage you know each other you know I think in this match we have two teams that are very familiar with each other have a comfort zone so I think we'll see a little bit more of a teamwork type of play from both teams yeah it's um I think this is a pick'em with a number six seed and a number ten seed 
I think the the big thing you know, we're watching is the movement. Game. Is so fluid. Elliot Rodesno. And, uh, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see who can keep the momentum. Elliot Rodesno and, uh, lead the first set. This match. One game to love. Discipline. That's how I see Marcella and Liz and these girls. I find them very disciplined on the court. They will not go for the wrong shots. It seems like they will hit the ball in a way that I always feel is going in. So very disciplined in their decision making and yeah, that's um, you know. Nothing and that's like Lucy Nutting box. serving in the royal blue vest. Mm -hmm. You can see the fifteen you know, love. The difference in the match we just did before, though, uh, Patty is. The drives are coming. They're, you know, not. They're not. They're very patient. They are, as you said, very disciplined. Fifteen but they're not, all. They're, you know, but they're they're bringing it a little bit more. Yeah, I think the pace of play is going to be much quicker for those viewers who happen to catch that Ruoff Manley win in the thirty twos. Okay, I'm going to make my pick. It's only the second game. I believe when you have a Philly Washington team versus a Connecticut Connecticut and you're mm -hmm. in Connecticut I'm pulling I'm, I'm going with Connecticut to pull this match out well, we are not allowed to make money bets right <laughs> no money bets allowed in this sport there would n no one would ever bet on this 30 sport. 15 okay. you know Vegas has this as you know you know it's like a 52 48 you know going into it yeah uh, the Redonzo Elliott team and uh, this new team this year, they uh, started off, you know, with Chicago. They came out of, if you want to call oh. it, nowhere to, for people and took out some seeds and made it out down, out down in Chicago to the finals, I believe. And, uh, you know, so they had a great thing. And as you said, as Vicky said, she's gotten the pleasure to play this uh, Nutting-Williamson team. Nutting Williamson. You can see the difference between last year and this year. Hey, and Elliot Renesno last weekend in Philly lost in the finals to uh, Hanish and Cooper. And, I mean, that was a gigantic, momentous, mm -hmm. you know, win for them coming into this Nationals where all of a sudden, um, you know, Macy, I've heard about her from Carl, and I, I, I've heard about her level of talent that she brings to the table here. Vicki, you're nodding your head, and I know about Redesno for a couple of years, having played with Miriam Cruz, but Macy Elliott Advantage is such a treat to Elliot watch. What a, what a bunch of talent. And Liz Cruz as well, right? Marcella had a great run with Liz Cruz mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. I have not seen Macy play, so I'm excited to, to see Welcome all her. Firm. Game! Elliot Rodesno. No, come Elliot in. Rodesno will be the first Connecticut set. Area is so Two games strong to love. And, uh, the teaching aspect as is it well too, but I know uh I'm you know, I know that a lot of the guys are playing all the time together to what's it's great for this uh Elliot Rodonzo team. Fifteen love the practice they get. They get matches like this all the time in practice, which makes a difference. And sometimes when you're a you know, a team coming from an area with not as many love high level players you you, you got to feel like getting into a match not sometimes Fault. starting into the match right football so the only head to head 30, that we have close 15. going into this match is Adam Lagandinas Elliot and Redesno took out the team of Nutting and Prendergast actually mm -hmm. in the finals but Redesno and Elliot the reason why they are uh, I'm picking them in this match you look at their losses this season, Flora and Annika, 15. I mean, twice. They lost to Anika and Hanish in a match. They lost to Morgan and Sakura. If your losses are only to other teams in the top five. eight in the sport, top five, that's phenomenal going into the Nationals. They don't lose to anyone ranked below them. And, you know, they have enough poise and discipline with them in the early stages of this partnership. Right. It's 40, so impressive that, 30. I mean, they could make a great run here at Nationals. Uh, we were talking earlier about the Santa Barbara and some of our gentleman, Cheers. Robert Stahl. Well, the other person he happens to be out there with this, for some of you guys might know a little bit in paddle, is Mr. Mike Morrison. 
uh, little, you know, rebel style Elliot of uh, paddle with his Midnight Machete. Stuff, but midnight he, Paddle. The Midnight Paddle is out, out huge in Santa fan Barbara. He's out there. Uh, he's just giving it a shout out. Saying, uh, he wishes he could be here, but he's not complaining about the sun of Santa Barbara. Deuce. Mo's Midnight Paddle Gear is seen around tournaments, totally supportive, great guy, enthusiastic. Loves the sport. has been a big, you know, supporter of it for years. It is called design. Totally. So you talk about who's critical to get off to a fast stop start here, and it's Nutting and Williamson have to keep this match close. Matt and I talked earlier about front runners, and there's some teams who can who don't give up the lead when they're ahead in a match. And Elliot Redesno sort of have that feel to me about them. Yes, I feel the same. I feel like if we see Rodesno, I'm not going to speak about Elliot as much because I don't know her game. But if I see Rodesno, the way she starts, I feel like that's how she's going to finish, and it's usually a very consistent and good start. So you will not see a lot of advantage. Her. Nutting Williamson. I haven't seen uh, Redesno play, um, you know, as much in the last two years. But I tell you, one of the things that's fun to watch her about is the way she just moves on the court. She's very Game. fluent. Very Nutting Williamson. In the right so Maddie G, we're going to make a switch Elliot, to Lisa Park. First set, two games to one. 2020 APTA National Championships out of the Country Club of Darien. Um, here, Patty Hogan. Vicky calls me Patty Logan or Hogan. And that's perfect because I can't say her name very well either. But I'm learning every hour here I get tips on the air about what I should say and how to pronounce names. So I'm going out on a limb. Lisa Rudloff. Welcome. 15, love. Good afternoon. All right, I'm, I'm kind of like Vicky that some of these players are a little new to me. I have played Jacqueline Williamson in the past when she was playing with Karen Coaches. I don't know Lucy Nutting. And Macy Elliott is, is also a new player to me, so it's going to be fun to watch Lisa, the matchups Lisa, can you identify? Everyone on the court, right where, where we see them right now, position-wise, so please. In the deuce court, well, 15 all you know, standing in the ag court. In the blue vest is Lucy Nutting. At the net. Correct. In the blue vest. And her partner, Jacqueline Williamson. And in the deuce court, on the far side, we have Macy Elliott and Marcella Rondenzo. Rondenzo. Who are playing in America, right? United States. 30, 15. Say it again, Vicky. Wait, I sorry. just had a hard time hearing you. Hold that thought, Vicky. <laughs> so this is a beautiful backdrop here, Lisa. The country club set up. You know, the stands here, I remember the Nationals last time, four years ago, they were just packed on right. Saturday and Sunday. Right. Um, and that's what we'll expect to see. And, I mean, look at this action in round of 16. This shows that, you know, the improved depth in the women's game. And right. not only good, solid paddle players, but explosive in nature where they can bring the heat. Right. And makes it so enjoyable to watch. Right. This is such a strong community of paddle players, as you know, Vicki, in Connecticut. A lot of pros that play the game live here. But the support that we've always had at this tournament is spectacular. Vicki, being a pro and knowing everything, can you tell me about where these players teach? Never mind, Vicki. I'm going to come back to you. I realize <laughs> that you just are on a little break. Lisa, 
We talk about the value of these clubs with their pros who are such these high profile women in the game and these clubs are very generous in lending their pros to the APTA and these players support the Grand Prix tourna tournaments all weekend long. Mm -hmm. So we need to give a shout out to the clubs who share their pros. Right. Well, Macy Elliott actually is an assistant rackets professional here at the Country Club of Darien. And Marcella Rondenzo um, at the Trumbull Racket Club in Connecticut. 40, 15. All right, and Jacqueline Williamson, who is serving right now, is also a rackets professional at the Whitford Country Club in Pennsylvania. Game, Nutting, Williamson. First set, match is tied, two games apiece. This is kind of what we expected when you, you, you know, you have a number 10, number six. It's gonna be a brawl out here, I think. Looks like they're just all getting their footing. 15, love. But you're right, Rondenzo is such a balanced, thoughtful player. It's always been tough playing her because you know you're never going to get any free points off of all. her. To work very hard to win a point. What are her biggest weapons, Lisa? Well, her drives are unbelievable. Forehand, actually, backhand? I actually think her volleys are some of the best. She's very stable, very balanced at the net. But you know if you give her anything short on the baseline, she's driving both sides. Again, to complement that, she's got the speed, quickness. Mm -hmm. You talked about her balance. She just never looks bad hitting nope. a shot. No. Nope. And it's so wonderful to have the assistant professional playing on our hometown courts. Fifteen thirty nationals. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, a lot of support, right. also a lot of pressure. It is, but it sounds like they've been doing well this year. 30 all. I saw a little bit of the replay of the Philly final, and I hadn't seen Macy Elliott played. I'd only heard about her from Carl Levenant, her boss, and she's got, she's, she looks like she's got every shot in the book. And as nice you can roller. see there, she makes the grip changes. Advantage, she can, Elliot, she can hit that no. roller. Right. She just has a great sense for not having played a million paddle matches for the situational, you know, challenges and seems to make oh, really good decisions about her shots. Deuce. Rendenzo's made a couple of faults in this game. That's surprising. That's what looks like Macy Elliott's trying to do. Get a nice deep lob, so Rondenzo going to step up and drive. That's what she's good at. Yeah, I don't know if she thinks of herself as a setup player because mm -hmm. I saw her tag some balls from the mm -hmm. Philly match, and she she can do it all. Mm -hmm. Advantage, Elliot Rodesno. But I like the play from Williams in there, kind of closing in Lisa to try to pick that off. She knew the drive was coming, and right. they can't, they're not going to volley well Deuce. back on their heels. No. They're going to have to be aggressive. Right. It's interesting seeing Jacqueline Williamson on the do side. That's right. So she used always to played her at court on the with coaches. Side. Her back end is such a weapon. Advantage, Nutting Williamson. Actually, when you talked about it, pressure. This is Vicky again. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome <I've> back, <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> I feel like uh, I actually think Marcella Deuce. is a little bit nervous. It, it looks uh, like yeah, it, right? I think uh, th maybe she feels the pressure of uh, trying to, you know, to f for Macy that uh, there are a lot of people here to support her and she wants to do well. And right. 
she wants to. She wants Advantage to be there for her. Elliot <laughs> Rodesno. I don't know how to put it right. better, but I agree. I think and that's a really nerves good point. Come, when nerves come into it, mm -hmm. with like a player like Rodesno, she kind of stays on one grip. Sometimes it does come through in serving or on right. overheads versus ground strokes. Right. I agree. I think it, it really shows on the serve a lot of times, especially mm -hmm. on the woman's side. Oh, that's a great rip. Um, yeah, that's for sure. Mm. Yeah. When you're nervous and all of a sudden you're looking up and you look up and you see someone like a Vicky on the other side about <laughs> to clock another ball <laughs> at your forehead, <laughs> it does make you nervous. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was why yeah. I used to like to stay back. <laughs> <sometimes>. <laughs> You were nervous in the commentating <laughs> booth. <laughs> but Macy's roller, I was watching while you guys were uh, talking and commentating. It reminds me a little bit of Gabi Nicolescu's roller. Not mm. the same placement, but a similar uh, contact point. And she hits it nice and deep. And it has uh, the medium pace. Wow. Look at that. That's That's... That's tough. Advantage. Shot <laughs> <Elliot> <laughs> position too. No. If she wanted to hit it right there, whew, mm -hmm. that was very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vicky, you talk about Gabby's roller overhead that she's famous for. What's the difference with Macy's with where she tries to aim her shot? Um, I only saw, uh, I, I, I saw maybe two or three, mm -hmm. but uh, Gabby's roller is very effective on the deuce court. Mm -hmm. I think she uses it a little bit more on the, on the deuce court size. Side, um, going after the deuce court exactly, player. Exactly, exactly. But uh, so far, Macy used it. Game, Elliot Rodesno. To the first Elliot panel in the Elliot Rodesno lead the, the first set. Three games to two. So we're at 3-2 in the first set. Mm -hmm. 2020 Nationals out of Darien. I'm um, Patty H with Vicky S <laughs> and Lisa R. <laughs> with the UNEC crew. Round of 16 match. And I think the thing about the overheads, um, that's spot on, Vicky. That's why you're an expert analyst here today. And <laughs> Macy hits, Elliot hits that shot. It's kind of like the reverse, like an inside out roller. Gabby's goes from outside in. When you talk about golf swings, which I know you guys know a lot about, you talk about outside in or inside out and what a natural tendency for some golfers have. Paddle players have the same things or not, and you're right. Gabby rips it, and you know how many times have we seen deuce court players chase that mm -hmm. ball backside where Elliot's hitting that ball long. right into the body of that ad player. I love that shot. Right, and she hits a little bit up on the ball, so the ball spins but doesn't come up, so it stays nice and low. So you hit up, but it goes down. <laughs> yes, because I don't accelerate as these girls. <laughs> Uh, no, but I that's slow down the ball. That yes. is spot on because when players look at these fabulous players play on, on the screen, they don't really know how they do it. So I love that you mentioned that, that literally they're brushing up and over right. sort of like a topspin forehand. 15-30. A couple of quick points here in this game. Some loose shots. I formation for Williamson. It's always good to give your opponents a little different look when they're driving well. Always keep them guessing. Nice. All. nice selection of overheads mm -hmm. yeah, by Williamson. Williamson. She does have a, um, a nice pace change on mm -hmm. her overhead. She well always has. She holds the ball. and She puts a little spin on it she too. Does. Vicky, I hate to put you on the spot. What If you get a beginner and they come out on the court and they see this and they say, I want to get better. What should I work on next? What do you, you know, t it seems to me like a dividing line in the women's game 
is the ability of players to adjust the spins and speeds on their overheads. When do you bring that into play with your students? I don't talk about spins until they feel comfortable on the court. Me personally. Uh, I want them to first have fun and be able to have enjoyable game, you know, Advantage, positioning Elliot and Rodesno. Uh, adjust from tennis if they play tennis to paddle so they get that mindset of where to stand and how to hit the shots and then once they are comfortable and they want to add game. some more to the Elliot game and uh, Rodesno. Uh, we talk about Elliot Rodesno the little spins the first and set. Four other games adjustments. To two. So that's great advice. You can't take off, you can't take everything on at once. You kind of have to pick your poison. Lisa, you teach a ton Full. of players that at Huntington Country Club. I do. I Football. think that um, Love 15. what I try to tell my ladies, and I think Vicky is correct, I don't think you're adding into the spins and things like that, but, you know, maybe some pace change. But also, at, at a certain level, if you have some good tennis players, you're going to have women that can drive really well. So what I try to tell a lot of my ladies is try to always alter what you're doing at the net because they sometimes have a difficult time with the first volley. 15 um, all. Always giving your opponent a different look just so that they don't get too comfortable within their drive. Right, so when you say beginners, mm -hmm. in my, I, I'm thinking players that have very limited racket skills if you have like you said Lisa players 30, that have 15. a lot of tennis skill mm -hmm. but are new to the game I agree that's when I think you can you can implement different spins earlier in the game right 40 15 because a lot of the beginners have just one grip and they're comfortable with that once you can start adjusting the grips you can talk about different spins well that's actually a very good point the grips trying to get the ladies to use a continental grip for their screen play it's right. not an easy thing to do Correct. But it's probably the best thing to teach beginners well i think that's exactly the point that vicky i i find myself with other pros you know they, the people want to hit the heavy topspin, but they can't play a routine screen. <laughs> so you've right. got to get them back to the continental, a neutral grip that allows them to play everything and then make a grip change for when they get the short ball, which they really would have time to make a grip change at that point. Right. So just this one point that they are playing right now, they were at least seven times they changed the grip. One player. Game. You see overhead, Elliot roller, Rodesno. volley, forehand, backhand. Elliot so Rodesno, lead the first set. Little adjustments Five that you have to make, to not to mention foot, uh, footwork, mm -hmm. to hit all these shots. You know, one of the things I find at a certain level with players, you need to expose them to the spin to show them how to hit it so that they know how to recognize from yeah, their opponent the shots charge. coming. I, I because I know if someone's teed up and I see their grip Good way more. over, almost like a backhand, you know, a backhand grip, I know they're going to hit a cutter to me. And right. I know the ball's going to be low, right. and I know it's going to spin a certain way. If I see the grip over, like a semi-western and western, you know that heavy roller, you know that Two ball's going to bounce and mm -hmm. go right. in a different direction. And so it, you might not be <laughs> that you're going to, have the ability to bring it into your Love game, 15. but you've got to recognize it because what separates these players and make the game look so easy and slow is that they recognize the right. spins and, and they know where to position Love themselves to play 30. the next shot from the baseline. Right. Well, even recognizing what's happening next, is, is your opponent's driving or are they lobbing? When I think you're first trying to Love teach 40. people how to play the game, just the recognition of what's happening next. Jerry Viant was always such a, and is a proponent of being in position at the net, especially before your opponent hits the ball. Well, it's hit, position, and wait. And players who hit and wait and then react, right. Right. Yep. they're never going to take out a team better than they are. Right. And that's what we saw in the first match that Maddie G and I did. You just saw O'Muller playing her match with a new partner. 
um, sins and they just didn't have that familiarity mm -hmm. to, to be comfortable moving with each other at 15, the net and just 40. left giant holes for Ruoff and Manley who just waited it out until mm -hmm. they got that open spot. It's a very good point to react or to be ready for mm -hmm. the for the player that is about to hit the ball that you already have a feeling where the ball is going. Right. Thirty, forty. That's Jacqueline Williamson serving. Oh, they're staying back. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And they both can stay back, as you guys mm -hmm. see. <laughs> they can be on the same side on the baseline to right. position the player who mm -hmm. maybe is stronger out of the ad court on that side to start the point. Game. There is no shame in staying back. no shame in staying back. First set. Six games to two. We will be right back after these messages right here on the APTA Network presented by Enet Live. The world of Rolex is filled with stories of perpetual excellence. For Rolex and tennis, the tradition began in 1978 and has grown to include the most iconic majors and tournaments since, supporting the legends, champions, and rising stars committed to the future of the game. This is a story of perpetual excellence, the story of Rolex. You can't put wings on a car. You can't see an accident coming or walk away from one like this. You can't make a car talk. How can I help you? You can't fight gravity. And you can't make one of the world's best SUVs even better. Go on, tell us what else we can't do. The all-new GLS. Are you ready to go? Possibly the safest, most spacious, most Mercedes SUV ever made. Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. Welcome back to the APTA 2020 Nationals. We are at the Country Club of Darien, and this is a round of 32 match in the women's main draw. And Macy Elliott and Marcella Rondenzo won the first set 6-2 over Lucy Nutting and Jacqueline Williamson. And Macy Elliott and Marcella wow. Rondenzo are closest to us. And right now, Marcella Rondenzo is serving. Thirty, love. Beautiful rip from Lucy Nutting. She didn't make it out of that ad court there, but you can see <laughs> the girls got game. I'm Patty Hogan alongside Vicky S and Lisa R. I'd like to make a little bit of a shout out to our tournament directors. Um, we have Carl Levenant, um, Mark Fischel, Tiernan Kavana. Um, Carl Levenant is the pro here, right? Love. Country Club of Darien. And Jackie Cameron. We put a lot of work into these nationals. This is a huge undertaking. 128 draw for the women. Probably 128 volunteers. Okay. The winner of this round of 16 match potentially Game. could Elliot come out against Rodesno. tournament number two seed on Drake of Zabori if the draw Elliot holds Rodesno true to the second form. Set. Okay. One game to love. So Vicki, you're part of this very special community up here in the Darien, Connecticut area. Can you rattle off the clubs that are used for play this weekend in nationals? Can you give me 10? I'm putting you on the spot. I knew this would be easy for you. I do because okay, let's clubs do are it. so generous let's do giving up their courts for the Nationals. <laughs> okay, Country Club of Darien, here we are right now. Uh, I'm going to say Round Hill Club, which uh, I'm, I want to also make a shout out to our ladies there and men uh, where my husband works and uh, we are very happy there. I hope they're happy with 15, us. Woodway look. Country Club, New Canaan Field Club. Uh, Weeburn Country Club, uh, Middlesex, um, Weed Beach, uh, Waveney. Thirty. I didn't even ask you for alphabetical order. Did Lake you say Club. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Lake Club. Um, oof! Come on. 
Well, Greenwich you've done Field well. Club. This, that's Country Club of Greenwich. Uh, Stanwich. I think there was more than 10. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the base club, and we have 128 men's teams, 128 women's love. teams in total this weekend. It is a monster undertaking of, you know, the logistics of this, just to plan lunch for everybody in the same place, the parking. And, you know, this is the sweetest part of it. You finally get to the weekend where we get to watch amazing, talented players. And the location of these clubs is, is amazing. They have, uh, they're close to 95, Highway 95, Merritt Parkway, uh, uh, lots of places to eat. Stanford has a lot of great restaurants if someone wants to go and uh, or even go to New York City, not too far. 40, 15. At night for a basketball game or hockey. These points have been very quick. Yeah, okay. the pace of play here yeah. pretty fast. Not a surprise mm -hmm. from both of these teams. Right. Although Marcella Rondenzo can stay out there for a while. <laughs> well, she likes to drive, but she yeah, can but also bear down and play She some won long the first points. set, six yeah. two. She can right. do whatever she wants. <laughs> it's up to Nutting and Williamson here to kind of. I mean, it's early in the second set. The first set, forget about it. Yeah. But I'll be curious to see if they uh, try some different tactics out here. There's no Elliot, Elliot. Are a little bit more patient. They're waiting for the right opportunity to put a little pressure, force mistake. Good close. So Vicky, of all skills, mm -hmm. when you when you get to teach 40, your players, 30. when do screens come into it? Some people play a couple seasons and they're like oh you know when i play a couple more years i do the screens what do you do how do, how do you um introduce yes. the screens are we talking about beginners that yeah, are new the to the game beginners who okay. are not familiar with paddle okay. and um i like to give them a, a little bit of understanding of the basic screens at the beginning so Advantage, they know what nothing, what's Williamson. coming in the future but um, i've seen i have been seeing a lot of a lot of ladies that that finish their match, they come off the court and they tell me, Vicky, we did some screens, but uh, we didn't get to hit overheads because everybody was driving. So... Yes. I <laughs> <laughs> we hear that all the time in yes, our profession. So, uh, you know, then we focus on the volleys, but <laughs> I said, you know, we do need to do some screens because it's just a matter of time when you, when you will need it. So... Game! Nutting Williamson. Mm. Well, and I think that's the first screen error as that's we're talking about screens from Rodesno. Since Second 2015. Set. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> we talk about Hall of Famer Bobo Delaney, who hasn't missed a screen since the 80s. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, what happens out here, these players can slow down the game. If you don't use the screens, it's really hard to slow down play. For sure. And so it's one of those things where I see people who are eager, eager to play screens in the beginning of their play. You know, it sort of helps them make some decisions, you know, a little bit sooner in their game with a lack of match experience, just knowing that if you lob, you're gonna probably play a screen on the next right. shot. And I think love. all of these players out here are so smooth on the screens, you don't even notice it. But it's worth pointing out because as I was thinking through how do you slow it down, we would all let more balls go through, right. like play that. the ball off a screen <laughs> or two all day long, throw Fire up some time. lobs, mm -hmm. try to back the team up from the net, create some open spaces for yourselves as the baseline team. Right. I think it's so crucial to teach beginners screens. Just 15, give them a look. All. The more they do it, they're not going to be afraid of it. Right. Like I think they try to block screens and then the play just speeds up and they don't have control on their shots. So even though they may not be getting them in their matches, like you said, Vicky, wow, that's a great shot. You yes. have to introduce an Awesome it. shot from Williamson mm -hmm. out of that juice corner. 15, 30. I think teaching beginners, for me, is the most rewarding thing. When a yeah. beginner makes a screen, mm -hmm. it's such a happy face. Yeah. I see a lot of happy faces and they want to hit more. Right. They want to need more and more. Right. 
15, so 40. You just have to encourage and encourage them to do more and see those happy faces. <laughs> So I think it's worth Game. talking Nutting Williamson. a little bit about the Nutting Macy Williamson. Elliott serve the now. Second set. Yeah. So Game have you one. guys seen it enough to comment Reminder, on it? Elliot it's an Lodenzo. interesting Win the first form, set, how she sidearms her, her serve. But it, it's not, I don't, I don't think it's super effective. Well, it does I'm stay low. That last one sat up a little bit, but it's an know. interesting Well, form. I watched the stream um, from the Philly final, mm -hmm. and I was fascinated with it, and I was trying to stop the screen because it was so close to looking like a footfall, but mm -hmm. it wasn't. Her toss is so far in front. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, the furthest I've ever seen in front for a player, and then she literally is hitting the ball and stepping on the court with her right foot mm -hmm. about four feet into the court. It gives her a huge advantage to get mm -hmm. in really good position for that first volley. And I didn't see it hurt her in Philly. She had a remarkable consistency and pretty good depth, and the ball did stay down. And in this era where we see so many of the top players going to the sidearm yep. serve, right. it's, or it's right yep. in there yep. with the height of the bounce. It doesn't sit up for players mm -hmm. who are so many you know, amazing high ball hitters out here, ball strikers on the return of serves. Kind of surprised the women haven't gone to that underhand service as much as the men have. Okay, well, I just have to right. say one thing. I think pickleball is an underhand serve. <laughs> I feel like the paddle one, it's kind of that brushing side shot sidearm like a, f like a topspin forehand mm -hmm, in a way. Mm -hmm. And so I know as I've tried to hit it, I feel like I'm at a little disadvantage <laughs> with my height. It's the first time <laughs> I've ever realized that in the sport. Um, to hit that low <laughs> roller, <laughs> my margin for error <laughs> is so slim. <laughs> So I'm not bringing it into my game <laughs> quite yet. I actually tried it last week because I, I see a lot of players do that. And when I was loose and we didn't play points, it was great. Right. Uh, you know, when you can do a little top spin, a little back spin, it stays nice First and point. low. It's Love fantastic. 15. And then we started playing points and you get a little nervous. Mm -hmm. You do need to use it in the matches to get confident. Right. Uh, because it looks like it's very easy, but it's not. It depends where you make a contact. If you are hitting it a little bit above the net, uh, I think you can get more serves in, but you need some kind of topspin because then the ball is going to bounce up. 30. And if you hit it below the net, you know, you need a little topspin so the ball bounces out. Yeah, the ability to generate some pace right. as you hit that ball is <laughs> crucial. I don't know if you've seen Adam Morgan play this year yet, but I remember seeing him at the start of the season at the Pro Flight event at Fiddlers, and a lot of the guys, Johan, Steve, and mm -hmm. Adam, but I love watching Adam hit the serve, actually. Mm -hmm. He just throws his entire well, body into 40. it. And, I mean, I haven't hugely seen it. successful. And speaking of Adam, Adam had a tough loss last night at the end of the men's pick up with Brian Colmar. They lost an incredible match. They were Chicago. up 6 3 tiebreaker mm -hmm. to Max and Anton Lipovair, oh, yeah. and Prosenko pulled it out. Hmm. Look at that power of that two-handed backhand from Williams. Nice. Right, right. <laughs> Great ball is there. <laughs> Game. Elliot to be honest, I'd, I'd like to see Jacqueline Matt's Williamson back two, in the two, court. Second set. I do I remember know, Lisa I don't when know she nutting well when enough she how she plays on the deuce court, but I feel like they're at a little bit of a disadvantage having her play on the deuce side. We'll see. Well, I think it takes she does away that. the she middle does of that, the court, yeah. personally. Right. And I remember Coaches Williamson well when they played. And I, I always wanted Jacqueline to hit either more forehands mm -hmm. or sneak over and just get some easy shots out of the middle. Take well, the middle away as a safe shot. Right. Because in the women's game, that middle is safe shot mm -hmm. is a huge part of play right. in order to slow down the game and control, you know, control the pace of play on your overheads. It's like the back end, though, from the middle. Right. I just don't know if she's feeling it the same way. She can't turn her body as much. Yes. Well, she's she getting the looks. And on the to Redesno's credit right there, you guys, right. that's what club players don't do. Jacqueline teed off on another ball. She made her last couple, and Redesno just let the ball go. Mm -hmm. She knew 
she was, you know, the ball was going to be, you know, maybe oh. it was in, maybe it was out. I couldn't tell from my vantage point here, mm -hmm. but she was super cool. And she was in transition. She just had the wherewithal to let the ball go because it was really above her knees. She was three quarters, you know, off the net. She has a wow. great judgment. That mm -hmm. again. Wow. There it is. Wow. That's a great That's shot. It. Drop, drop nice and low. Mm -hmm. Wow. Bali by Rondenzo. Really good hands. Yeah. Nutting mm -hmm. was nice enough to hit it twice right to the sweet spot on Redesno's <laughs> paddle there. And <laughs> I think Still that's the difference em. and the growth that I see in players in the game when they can spot. I mean, I've mm -hmm. seen Vicky do it forever to people and just hold the shot, set them up, let them commit to their volley, and then go to their weaker side. Oh. You got your wish, Lisa R. Right. Jacqueline's right, in the ad see. court. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so much for that. She strategy. was happy Rodenzo. for a second. <laughs> Elliot Rodenzo. I actually think that's a really good point, Patty, about the, the hold and waiting to see if your opponents are going to move a little bit at the net. And you were very good. Vicky well, was very good at that. Not overhitting the ball, but just finding the hole, finding the spot. You don't have to hit it. Elliot 100 miles an Rodesno. hour. You hit it 20 miles an hour in the right spot. Elliot and Rodesno and you get the mistake. Lisa second set, three games to two. All right. And I think, Lisa, um, one of the advantages that Vicky had besides being super cool and super talented. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. H. So <laughs> poised, Vicky, yes. <coughs> and yes. just relaxed. And, mm -hmm. and Vicky knew that she was going to hit the shots when she was damn well ready to hit the ball. Mm -hmm. And no one rushed Vicky into her shots. And I think that's when you see the separation Three. in the women's game where the players who have that poise and discipline just to wait one more second. Because, Vicky, I just see you. You had such an ability to open Love up the court 15. and then capitalize on the openings where some people right. can open up the court and then overhead where you'll open up the court. You'll let them commit to covering that spot mm -hmm. and then you'll be like, OK, all. start running again for the nether spot. Like mm -hmm. you were not you did not bet the bank on the first shot that presented itself to you. And I always think that's what makes you one of the greatest players that our game has ever seen. Well, thank you. I appreciate wow. that. Uh, the greatest women's player we've ever seen, to be honest, but oh, that's just me. 15, <laughs> I don't think so, but 30. thank you. Well. <laughs> I shouldn't think that way. Um, I think uh, I think 15, 40. the way I pay, play personally also reflects I'm off the court. I like to play mm -hmm. safe, so... I play safe on court and off the court, so I don't like to make... Do you <laughs> drive safe well, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lisa is making a inside joke here <laughs> because uh, I drive very safe, like a granny. always inside of the speed limits. <laughs> no, like a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't like to overhit. Uh, sometimes I underhit. I actually <laughs> think when I play that I could have hit a little bit harder, but that's my opinion, you know. Right. Um, well, our opinion, why we think you're one of the greatest, if not the greatest, is I always thought what was remarkable in watching you would be you would have the opening, the 30, players off the net, 40. you would wait till they started to close, and then you had the ability to even put the ball in front of where they went to close you off. And, you'd, and because you didn't overhit, hit, you made that player work so hard on the volley. You know, I played forever against Ari and Vion, some of those players in Game a different era, Elliot mostly. They just made you, you know, uh, great ladies, teams make you work really hard, mm -hmm. where I feel like with the power coming into the game, there's so many times where some of these top women let each other off the hook, where the off speed makes someone, would make someone work set, so much harder on the Reminder, next volley. Right. First set, Elliot was also Rodesno, very good at that as Carrie six games to two. Yes. Oh, Carrie yeah. is as good as anyone in the game right, right now. And back to the score, we're at 4-2, second set here with Ellie and Redesno. They won the first set over uh, Nutting and Williamson. We can take a close look on that serve now. And right. See a little bit Love better. Right. I think they had a ball change as well. Vicky, you, you may want this serve. <laughs> I don't know if I want to change what I have. I'm just happy to get it in right just now. Just to so. add variety to it, I mean. <laughs> Even though you're great, you can <laughs> even become greater. 
No, and I think that's the thing with the guys in the game where you see so much of the rolling shots, Vicky, with Love the serves, it gives them the alternative. Yes. And I see a lot of the guys as righties serve roller, deuce court, traditional serve into the ad court corner. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, you see where that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hurt? Jeez. My right foot steps, you Love know, is one foot 40. inside the baseline. Hers is, I don't know, like yeah. five feet in. Again, both players staying back. Good decision Desno to stay staying back. to yeah. the and left of the server. Yeah, she's Stayed just trying to side. keep that serve nice and low and get in the. Oof. Game. Nutting Williamson. Looks like she was kind of upset with that service game. Mm -hmm. Elliot Rodesno lead the second set. Four games it's to okay. three. Sometimes it's okay to, you know, to, to hit one if you have to, and then you can calm down and get back to your game. The good news is it's not raining yet. Exactly. All right, it's supposed to come in at about 4 o'clock, I've heard. Lisa, can you take us through the draw, give yep. us some potential matchups for what we might see in the women's quarterfinals if Can't the seeds see. hold form? 3-4, mm -hmm. ladies. The right, winner well, of this match potentially comes up against Andrekova and Zabori. Ah. We do know that. Right. 15, low. And then where are we even on our... Second court, so Curtis to us. Well, Curtis Jaffe, <laughs> Andrejko okay. and Zabori have to get past Curtis yes, Jaffe. We know a tough. little something about that Curtis Jaffe <laughs> team. Both of you are former partners or current partners Liz of both Jaffe. of those women. Right. Which one do you know, Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know very well one of them. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a great team, Jaffe and Curtis. Um, Jaffe's just going to stay out there all day. Um, she's going to make that team work. And Curtis, well, you know Curtis very well. Um, she's going to be the powerhouse on that team. But the Drakeva, um, Zabori, they're very talented. They had a great season this year, right? They really did. Talk about calm. Martina. Martina, yes. Very calm on the court. Zabori can make some silly mistakes but she's so talented yes a lot of uh, different chances d different spins and yep so you know tweeners there's there's matches Game. being played Nine. all over the place Williamson. we're lucky to have this match right here Second but set. elsewhere match number ties. one seed Four Cooper Hanish they potentially well they're going to play Manly Ruoff in their next match that's going to be a tough round of you know, that's going to be a tough quarter. Delmonco Gebbia look like they're cruising through. They play Province Fizz, Gio and Molenveld up against Nuzlocke right. Prouses, it looks like. We, well, we have Dars and Shea, who we would all pick probably take out Nuzlocke as the number 15 seeds. And then this is our match here, and Andrejka Vazaboria await the winner of this match. Love. And Delmonica Gebbia won their match. Love yeah, they won 0-0. Oh oh. They're playing Props Fizz. And Cooper Hannish won a won as a walkover, correct? In the round mm -hmm. of thirty-two, right. oh. mm -hmm. unfortunately. So we have the sixteen matches still going on. There's a battle out there. The newly formed team of Anika and Kazakavich against Guillaume Molenveld. Mm -hmm. It's exciting to have uh, Anya Kazakavich back. Mm -hmm. Fifteen thirty. I haven't seen her for years. Last time I saw her mm -hmm. was playing the semi Second here with set. Heather Prop Ooh, against Dardis and Shea, I believe. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that the last semi that they played in Connecticut? We lost to them in the quarters. Okay. Uh, Anna and I. And then they lost to, well, either Gabi Mar and Martina or uh, Amy or Amy and... and Cynthia. I don't remember. They had a three-set battle, I think. One of these courts. Now there's that back and look at that get. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it hits the umpire's chair and you lose the point. Monaco and Gebbia went out in three grueling sets to Dardis and Shea oh, yeah. in, in the semis. Touch it, touch so it, touch then it was mm -hmm. Nicolescu. Sorry, I didn't chime in early on right. that. I, someone was telling me something else. I have no idea what they were telling me either. <laughs> okay, we're 
for all here. Yeah, this is great this for is Nutting yeah. and Williamson to right. bring this. Yeah, they're Game. coming back. Yeah, Nutting, they are. Williamson. They Nutting, Williamson, lead the second set. Five they games discovered before. something. Yeah. All turn of events. Play out of Mapta down the Philly, Washington, D.C. area. Philly strong. <laughs> Another great area who hosts uh, Magical Nationals. Five, four, ladies. Okay, well, I have just learned a trick about how they keep score here at the Nationals in Darien. <laughs> and they go one game at a time. So if a team wins a game, they have one. And then if they win another game, they have two. So I'm just getting the hang of it. And I've just been informed that <laughs> we're at five all first set of the Guillaume Molenveld, the Nika Kaskavich match. Next to us. That's where they're playing, Lisa. I hadn't <laughs> even noticed that. CEO. This interesting second set with um, Elliot and Redesno here. I just felt like they were so strong in the driver's seat, and then all of a sudden, not a lot of momentum. This is an important game. Hmm. Little off pace. 15, love. And sometimes it changes, and there's not really a reason. It just, you know, just maybe a little higher level of execution. Right, I think sometimes a team that takes a few more chances in those tight situations, sometimes they come, they're victorious mm -hmm. because they're nervous. The other team's nervous. 15 all. And right there, Redesno just lined up that backhand and you know, Nutting had a choice, stand right. here or move mm -hmm. forward. Right. And I think that's where you have to commit. Right. Go a little forward on that volley and right. if you're gonna stand try to there, get ready. that ball before it gets below the level of the net right. more. Right. Nice lob. Nice. All right. Oh, I wanted to see 15, Williamson on that 30. outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forehand volley mm. under the net. Mm -hmm. 15, 40. It's kind of rare that you get to nationals and you have all these matchups with teams who have not played each other, but when you have some pickup partners at the last minute, sort right. of what happens a little bit. Nutting and Williamson don't play that term many tournaments, mm. you know, as a whole, so right. they've never seen this team. And most of us haven't. <laughs> and when you get to these tough situations, these tighter situations, that's where that teamwork could maybe potentially break down. But I feel like uh, all these girls have a, a long history of tennis, college tennis, or I feel like when they play first couple of games, and then they, they see certain shots and they, they adjust very fast. They settle down. Yeah. A lot of back and forth overheads, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which could be a recipe for disaster. Great push overhead. Yeah. Marcella just waited for the right one. She didn't feel like she could go to the screen, so she was patient, went for, for the middle overhead, nice and soft, and now she see an opportunity keep it away from the Williamson backhand unless you can get it to the screen. That's a safe spot. Mm -hmm. She closed in. She saw it coming. Okay, there's your screen. So Williamson, oh, she stepped up on that forehand. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. nice point. Almost ran it down. 30, 40. That's a big point. Wow. So 
So Penny, what was your what was your weapon when you used to play? Hmm. I like or to run. Or should I ask lot, someone Vicky. else? <laughs> I, I like to run. Um I, I, I kind of learned early on, um, coming from a tennis background, walking onto the paddle court and immediately feeling comfortable with the screens. I, I became a very defensive-minded player. So I kind of was determined to be like Bobo and never miss a screen, and be like Bobo and never miss a volley, mm -hmm. and never miss an overhead. Okay. And Deuce. I was a firm believer that in every match, you could win or lose every match, and it was about taking away your opponent's weapons. Mm -hmm. So sort of working your way, starting out the match. If, you're, if I wasn't familiar with someone, or if I'd played them over and over and over, don't reinvent the wheel. Just stick with a formula and be disciplined enough to play it out, and mm -hmm. you ride the waves. You know, Sometimes people just get on a roll. It's Advantage, never about someone being Elliot, lucky or Rodesno. not. But it's sort of, I think... I played a million matches and just had the maturity to sort of wait my way through. And I always welcome that, you know, at the all you ever want to go into a tournament is to give yourself a chance to win. So Game. that means you have to win every Elliot match. So I just, Rodesno. I was always Second disciplined set, about match my time. approach. Five and games apiece. I picked really good Reminder, partners. Yeah. Elliot Rodesno, <laughs> win the first set, six games to two. That's very important too. Well, you know, you spend so much time out here. It's such a commitment. And so you want to enjoy yourselves. And I was lucky enough to have some a lot of great partners. Had a great run with Cindy Prendergast. And sadly, Cindy and Lauren had to bail today. I was watching Cindy yesterday. She was playing very well. She's Amazing. She's phenomenal talent. Beautiful hands, beautiful placement Love of the ball. 30. Her drives, very, very nice. Cindy's played in, I think, as many women's national finals as any woman's player. Mm -hmm. I think it's 15. Wow. I think she... I think we played in six. She played with Connie Jones Love in one. 40. She played with Lauren Zink in seven. I mean, talk Amazing. about high-level play. And Cindy just had the right approach and mm -hmm. the best sense of humor to yeah. get through tournaments, which was, <laughs> you know, to me... You know, I, I love playing with Cindy because, and all my partners who had a joy for just competition and playing. And, right. you know, we were lucky. And at the end of the weekend, we're all driving on 95 back to our normal lives. And this is a gift that we've been exposed to this. And all three of us are teaching pros. We didn't grow up playing it necessarily. I never even heard of the sport before I started mm -hmm. teaching at Beacon Hill Tennis. Um, and so I think you get a lot from the sport when you have that appreciation and gratitude for what the sport yes. has given to right. all of us. And it's a switch sometimes for the tennis players who come in here. This is such a, a warm community of people and sometimes the tennis community isn't necessarily that way and it's, mm -hmm. I love the social aspect of paddle. It's refreshing for sure. Yeah. You're still playing sort of tennis using your tennis right. skills. Right. Um, and then, like you said, when you finish the match, then you are hanging out with your partner and right. you can talk about other things too. Right. I'll tell you the amazing thing about this sport as well, when you talk about partnerships, I always think if you're a fierce competitor <laughs> and if you're nice, a lot of people want to play with play you. With mm -hmm. you. Yeah. If you're a fierce competitor mm -hmm. and highly talented, right. but, but maybe not the nicest person, you're you not going to get partners. a lot of phone calls right. leading up to tournaments or people aren't mm -hmm. going to pick up your calls. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's the, I think, the camaraderie builds in this game as a result of that. And so even when I see some new players who come from a little bit of a different background, from the tennis background, I feel like for the most part, they kind of get the joke. Yes. Or feel like if you want to be a part of it, right. then act a part of it and honor the community and the friendships and the mutual respect and regard for every player the entire out. time you're lucky enough Game to be a participant Nutting out here. Nutting Williamson. Nutting Williamson lead the second set, six games to five. So, I agree with you. I think this sport 
teaches us uh, teaches us a lot to to be a better person or me maybe not a better person but to appreciate the community that we that we have um and sometimes you can be two very nice people but you don't click on the court and that's right. okay too right and you do see some teams that will have a short-term partnership and you're like oh wow wouldn't they be great but it's kind of like peanut butter and jelly it's got to work together right. and right. You might have a phenomenal ingredient and phenomenal ingredient. Exactly. But you don't mix vodka and gin. It <laughs> just doesn't <laughs> come out well. You don't. Oh, that's a good comparison. All Love right, well. 15. And I think, you know, you talk about, you take some players and all these players, you know, ranked in the top 15 in the country. The sum of their parts adds up to a greater, you know, to the teamwork out here. And that's why they're out here battling it out in this match mm -hmm. and the 2020 Nationals. So both times, Nutting and Williamson stayed back. They didn't come in on their serve in this game. Well, all I have to say is, whew, Williamson and Nutting are getting stronger here, feeling mm -hmm. looser. When you talked about the early nerves, we talked about with Redesno maybe Whoa. a little bit. You know, where it shows up, nerves show up on serves. Line of sight, on, pole stance. On overheads or serves, but I Love feel like. 30. Don't you feel like Jacqueline Williamson has worked her butt off to pull this thing? Mm -hmm. You know, she's worked really hard and has been really effective here in this second set, whatever side she plays on. Mm -hmm. But she's got that intensity and you can feel right. her. It's she's in it. You know, it's going to Lucy yes. as well now. Smart. Cole stands, ball back. See, Lost Lucy's stepping 40. into her forehand a little bit more too. Right. I feel like she was maybe a little nervous or I'm not sure what it was, but her feet were not moving and she was swinging and now I see her stepping into those drives. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I think players have to recognize if you have a team retreating, you don't have to hit the ball as hard <laughs> right at that point. And kind of was a big miss on an open court right there. But 15, 40. Force the volley error right there. Double set point, second set for Williamson and Nutting. Hmm. Oh, wow, my Lord. Backhand. Mm -hmm. 30. 40. There it is. Lucy stepping in. I was wrong about that score. Oh, she's really stepping in. I feel like this adjustment Here's. they made, staying back uh, behind their serve, not coming in, it's been, it's been helping. Yeah, good tactical change. Mm -hmm. Hey, if I looked up and saw <laughs> Elliot and Redesno, I, I would do that as well. Mm. You've got to take away some of their firepower. Right. Remove yourself as targets up at the net. Full stance. Mm. Advantage, nutting, Williams. Questioned. Mm -hmm. I think that's nerves, mm -hmm. it, like at this level of play. You don't really think someone made a bad call, right. but I just think you're. No. I think you want it to be in. You're just There's thinking out right. loud. Right. Right. You're verbalizing your thoughts sure. right, right there. I like that return of Elliot when they're staying back. They're, she's not hitting it too hard, giving mm -hmm. herself time to get in. Yeah. You're right. Williamson has really stepped up in this set. Gotten them back into strong position oh. she got a little flat-footed there mm -hmm. after her drives advantage Elliot Rodenzo <laughs> a lot of chatter on the other court this is a new new um, new team Kazakevich Roxy Anika, they need to chat a lot now to get to know each other. Yes. An emotional team, <laughs> a charged team. <laughs> 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 
So you see Redesner just going on top of the net. Williamson and Nutting are showing that they're staying back. It's a great play by Redesno. Just walks up on top of the net and assumes that her partner's going to put the ball in play and come in herself. Oh, she's on leaning back. Advantage, that drive. Elliot Rodenzo. That was a big point. Mm -hmm. And that's where Nutting just has to she doesn't have to pull it. the trigger to try to win the point. She's just got to. But she's got to go confidently. They're so feeding each other with their drives. One drive leads to another drive, leads to another drive. You don't have to go for the win on the first one. Sometimes what happens, she made a couple of really good drives, so she, th she thought she could. Mm. You know, oh, I made three, four drives and won the point. All right, I think I can take this one too. That's a great shot. Get court open. Nice. Game. Game. Elliot mm -hmm. Rodenzo. Got a tiebreaker. Ladies. Right here, Williamson needs to say to Nutting, okay, I got tie you. Tiebreak, ladies. Ride me. Because that's really how they got into this tiebreaker in this second set. I'd like to see them just slow down a little bit too, and just well, talk to each other. Just two quick errors there, right. and that's where she's got to have the confidence with Jacqueline Williamson out of that deuce court. That right, great hands. You know, mm -hmm. if they get the short ball, great, but just continue to make them volley. Right. I always say when you have a great team on the other side, you don't have a winning drive. You've nice. got to break them that's down. Crazy. One zero. Is her roller stays very low. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to control. Elliot's roller. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very effective to the ad court. Right. Mm. No, and you were spot on in your analysis early on, Vicky S, about the difference with how Gabby hits that shot, and it's it's that inside out. Two zero. Elliot Rodenzo. It's tough because it's also deep, so you have to make a quick decision. Do you want to block it or do you want to let it go to the screen? And there it stays very low. Elliot Rodenzo, 3-0. Nutting and Williams, need to slow down. They need to I talk. I Stop. just had a flashback. Pittsburgh Nationals, Stoklovsova, Brazova, Tarzian <laughs> match <gasps> with Carrie Flynn. That was a match. And But that was really for the first time. I saw the overhead that Vicky delivered, that roller into that deuce corner Great that you depth. just held on to, waited, the ball dropped, and you just hit this sneaky little shot that if, if Tarzian didn't play the ball out of that corner, she, it was tough to handle, <laughs> and then she let it go in. And it was, cert it was like the shot that really changed that match. Mm -hmm. Am I right about that, Vicky? Uh, well, I me. just remember it was the shot that you controlled uh -oh. the net with. Did it go over? No. And that was a 10-8 third yes, set. Yes. Played it out. Elliot Phenomenal Rodenzo, final. Four zero. Sometimes uh, when you play matches like this, uh, sometimes I just, I don't want to use the word, the, the wrong word, but I... <laughs> there are no I wrong I forget words. everything after the match. I don't <laughs> yeah. know what happened, but I do remember one thing. It was 8-7? No, it was 8-all. Eight 8-all. Eight all, and... Carrie was serving and she faulted three times. Mm. That's what I remember from that match. <laughs> I don't remember That's anything else. That's a vivid else. memory. <laughs> I hope you're not listening, Carrie. Oh, we love Carrie I felt Flynn. badly. I did feel badly for uh, no. all, all the work. Flynn and in. What a run nervous. at nationals. Unexpected. Right. Took out a couple of the top teams. And, you know, people were anticipating possibly a lopsided women's final, but they, they battled every that single was point. It was finals. incredible. They played very precise. I very remember precise, Sue Tarzian yes. hit yes. you 5,974 soft break. overheads mm -hmm. down the middle of the court to Anna's backhand. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in an interesting situation here. Uh, Williamson and Nutting played a really good point. They had lost four straight. One serving four. They played a slower pace, got themselves back into this tiebreaker. Elliot Rodenzo, 5-1. Jacqueline's got the awesome two-handed backhand, but she's got to recognize the situation down 1-4, right. about to be eliminated. Right. And you've got to aim higher on your drive. Right. You just can't hit that ball that flat, that hard right there. You saw the follow-through was so short. 
he was a little little nervous. That was better. Nice. Nice. That's a great shot. Nice. Really Ma tough. Macy and uh, Rodenzo, uh, lead tie Elliot break. and Rodezno, they six it, it six seems like they one. closed in the net a little bit once these guys started driving. Mm -hmm. So they are they reading the drives it. very well now. Nice volley. And they have. Oh. oh. That's it. Hmm? Yeah. It's a nice win. Match. Oh. Elliot Rodenzo. Six two. So Lucy, Seven, you want to wrap six. this up? I just yeah, I just Ladies, I nice feel match. like you know Rondenzo and and Elliot really just played their game and played solid and I don't know, just too many mistakes, too quick a point uh, from Nutting and Williamson. I think they really need to just slow down, maybe do some different looks at the net. I know they stayed back at the end of that second set, which I think was smart, um, but they just needed to give them some other looks. I don't think they challenge them enough in that. And then you've got a team that's so solid at the net. I think you're right. They closed in very well whenever Williamson and Nutting were, were driving. And they just took it away from them. It's a um, so you know, good Lisa, match for Elliot. Lisa and Vicky, I want to thank you guys. And we look forward to some future matches together. We're going to take a break here from any of that live. And we'll be back with men's round of 16 action coming up all right thank, thank you, you for having me yeah. thank you ladies thank you, thank you.